Hello everybody. Welcome to the classes by Mrs. Monisha Nathpal. Today I am here to discuss with you a very common chapter that is mensuration. All of us have been learning mensuration from a very small age, from very lower classes. So there are few problems which we have been doing. We have been doing for a long time but some of us do the problems without uh, understanding why we are doing. Rather some of us by heart the problem that this is the pattern we will do it in this way. Today I am here today to discuss about those common problems only in a detailed way. Why do we do this? So uh, I have come with two sums now. So let us discuss these two sums because these are very common sums which we usually deal with while uh, dealing with the problems of men, uh, mensuration of based on rectangles sum, uh, rectangle topic. So the first problem is a rectangular lawn 60 meter by 47 meter is surrounded by a path which is 1.5 meter wide. Find the area of the path. So a very common problem as soon as you read this problem you must have uh, recollected your memories where you have done this problem. Okay, so I will just discuss basically using some teaching aids today. We will see hands on. So suppose you imagine this is the rectangular lawn. Okay, this is the rectangular lawn and it is surrounded by a path. So this white marked path I have taken to be my rectangular lawn, this path. And a path which is 1.5 meter wide. Say so this is the path which is 1.5 meter wide and it is running outside the lawn. We have to find the area of this path. Alright, area of this path. So, what can I do? What normally can come to my mind when I start dealing with this sum? You see, I can split it in two parts. This was my initial figure. Okay. So this is the lawn, this is the path. So how can I get the area of the path? If I consider two rectangles, so two rectangles are first is the rectangle which was my lawn. Second is the rectangle which is the lawn along with the path. You can see this. If I take it out, I will just get the path which is my requirement of the sum. So what are we doing? What did I do? I have taken out the lawn's area from the area of the lawn as well as the path. So that is our objective. Okay. Now imagine this was given to you the lawn. The dimensions of the lawn was given to you. This is the lawn whose length is 60, breadth is 47. Okay. So let me take the lawn whose length is 60 meter and breadth is 47 meter. Now you tell me how can we get the outer rectangle from the inner rectangle? How is the outer rectangle obtained from the inner rectangle? So the outer rectangle plus these two parts if I do I get the length of the outer rectangles to get the dimensions of the outer rectangle. This is lawn or say let us say the inner rectangle. This is the outer rectangle which is the lawn plus the path. Okay. So, how can I get the length of the outer rectangle? So, the path is 1.5 meter wide throughout. So, if this is the length of the lawn or the inner rectangle to this if I add the width 1.5 on both these sides. Here I am adding, here I am adding. So, as a result, I am getting this length that is 60 meter, 1.5 on the left side plus 1.5 on the right side. So, this is actually what? 60 plus 3, 63 meters. So, 63 meters is this length. Now, this length and this length, they are parallel. Whatever is this length, same is this length. So, the outer length or the length of the outer rectangle or length of the rectangle including the lawn and the path is 63 meter. Similarly, if I want to get the outer breadth, the outer breadth, this portion, how can this be obtained? This means this, this one means this outer line means this line. So, this can be the inner breadth plus the width on both the sides on top and on bottom. So, B is equal to 47 was the inner breadth 
now i'm adding 1.5 and 1.5 on both these ends so plus 1.5 plus 1.5 so 47 plus 3 is your 50 meter i hope i am clear in explaining how we got the outer dimensions so in general what you will do if you are given the inner dimensions and you are asked to find the outer dimensions to the inner dimension you to the inner dimension you add two times the width you will get the outer dimensions be it length be it width if you want to find the breadth or length of the outer uh, figure then you can do the inner figures dimensions plus two times the width of the path given to you that is the normal procedure normal formula so now what i said what to get the area of this part what we will do area of the outer rectangle minus area of the inner rectangle so area of the path we are finding that is area of outer rectangle minus area inner rectangle so area of the outer rectangle is how much that is your 63 into 50 meter square minus area of the inner rectangle is your uh, 60 into 47 meter square let's calculate this so area of the outer rectangle is your 3150 and area of the inner rectangle is your uh, 2820 so now difference we'll find out three thirty meter square that is the area of the path now certain times you will also see that this part of this question is accompanied with some little part more that is what will be the cost of constructing the path if the rate of construction is so and so given a particular rate of constructing or say uh, put laying gra uh, gravels on the path or putting grass around it whatever is given the rate will be given and you will be asked to find out the co total cost of doing that particular work so when you know the rate and you know the area you can simply find the product and get the required cost i hope i am clear with the process so what is the process if the inner dimensions are given in order to find out the outer dimensions what do we do inner dimensions plus two times the width area of the path what will we do like i showed you in the figure itself that is from the outer rectangle you remove the inner rectangle inner rectangle here was representing your lawn and the outer rectangle was representing the lawn as well as the path so the outer rectangle dimensions we got over here as a result we'll find the area of both the rectangles and find out the differences and thus we'll get the area of the path now you see this was the first sum the second sum is the rectangular a rectangular park is given to you whose dimensions are this and this length is this breadth is this now there is a path one meter five meter wide all around it okay and the path being inside so the path is inside so what are we going to do what are we going to do in this the outer dimensions are given so i said you one particular thing that is i said outer dimensions is equal to the inner dimensions plus two times the width so what will be the if now if this is the case for the first sum now in the second sum we know that the dimensions of the outer rectangle is given so rectangular park is so and so has a path this much wide all around it the path being inside the path now the part the path is inside that means i have to find the inner dimensions so this is given to me 
this is question mark and I know the width okay so this is also given so how am I going to find out the inner dimensions you make subject you make inner dimensions as subject so outer dimensions minus 2 times the width will be giving me the inner dimensions so to find the inner dimensions we will subtract the twice of the uh, we'll subtract twice width from the outer dimensions to get my inner dimensions same thing you can see in this figure itself that is suppose the rectangle as a whole is given to you the rectangle as a whole is given to you as a whole is given to you now if i want to find this so from the outer figure from the outer dimension i mean from the outer length if you subtract if you subtract the this is the outer figure the outer figure and the inner figure together is given you see if i want to find this white line this horizontal white line what it should be if i take it to the outer length you see what is the relationship from the outer length if i subtract the width from both the ends if i subtract the width from both the ends i get the inner length so say the here for the outer rectangle the length is how much 300 meter 300 meter the breadth is how much 210 meter so for the inner rectangle the length will be how much i said what to find the inner dimensions you will subtract twice the width from the outer dimensions so that is 300 meter minus 2 times 5 meter that is 300 meter minus 10 meter 290 meter 290 meter and your breadth will be how much breadth will be 210 minus 2 times 5 meter that is 200 meter so i have got the inner dimensions now now outer dimensions inner dimensions both we have so now the process will follow is from the area of the outer rectangle we will remove the area of the inner rectangle so we will get the area of the path so area of path is equal to area outer rectangle minus area inner rectangle okay so outer rectangle has dimensions 300 into 210 meter square minus this is the inner dimensions are 290 into 210 meter square okay i'll just clear up the board a little bit so that we can properly view this so this is equal to okay there's an error here this is 200 sorry so this is 58000 meter square okay so now we'll find out the difference 63000 minus 58000 that is your 5000 meter square so that is the area of the path similarly you can get an additional part to this question that is what is the cost of laying grass or what is the cost of putting gravels putting marbles the rate will be given you have to find the total cost so once you know the rate you can multiply with the area, area that you have got over here and you will get your required total cost so i hope both the sums were clear to you and practice these sums more that is the basic logic behind the sum which i said the outer dimensions is equal to inner dimensions plus twice the width so that is the concept which you will use to solve sums based on these kinds of concepts so i hope your concept is clear go through the video more and more pause every point and see what is the reason why we are doing it and make sure your concept is clear so once you understand the concept sums of these kinds will not be very difficult in dealing with so thank you i'll meet you next in my video based on sums which need critical thinking thank you so much